welcome to another MotuGFigures.com video special. Nice work, dude. Alright, so this is a video special. This is not a video spotlight because we're not spotlighting a figure. We, we say that the spotlights are for the figures and the specials are for special Specials. things. Uh, this is one we teased during the PowerCon uh, review thing we did. There was a certain item that we had and we said, hey, you know, maybe we'll do a whole video just on that. And now we are doing a video just on that. Dad, yeah? should we give them a couple seconds to guess it then we say it? Hey, that's a good idea. You guys guess what we're doing the video on. You all got it wrong. Every one of them got it wrong. What are we doing the video on, Blaze? The power and the honor, named after by the power of Grayskull and the honor of Grayskull. Exactly. Blaze has got a little bit of a cold, in case you're wondering why. He has kind of a raspy voice. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's, that's the way he's talking all the time right now. It is? I'm sorry, guys. I have to burp. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You can say excuse me right now. Excuse me. Um, okay, so, Power and the Honor Catalog, Volume 1. Okay, for those people who don't know, the Power and the Honor Foundation is this group that was formed to catalog, collect, preserve, share the artwork and the artifacts, prototypes, things like that, that went into creating the vintage and new adventures and other little things. Mostly of the vintage. Mostly vintage. Um, He-Man toy lines. And, well, not just a toy line, a lot of different aspects of He-Man. But we'll get into that some other time. Um, so th they put together this nonprofit organization to do all these things. And one of the ways they, they keep running and that they were able to get all these things together and do cool things like this, and like presenting the artwork at PowerCon, is by accepting donations. And so for a $50 donation, you get this beautiful hardcover book, Catalog Volume 1. And that, it, oh, that includes shipping, by the way. So, the first catalog deals with the Art of the Master Universe toy design, and it is amazing. Amazing. This book is incredible. It is, I'm not, like, exaggerating when I say this, or, like, just filling you with a load of baloney. This is my favorite book ever. I've taken this book to work, I've taken it to wait for Blaze at school, I've taken it to uh, friends' houses, I've taken it to everywhere. I, anybody I can show this book to, I show this book to. I love this book. Right yeah, I have two copies of this book because I knew I would beat this one up, carrying it around and, and showing it to people and things like that, and I wanted to keep one preserved. So I have two copies. Um, we wanted to do a review of it, but we don't like want to spoil the book because that would be lame just to go through every single page or something. Go, this this page is great. This page is great. And we run out of battery power. And we run out of battery power. That too. Um, so what we did was Blaze and I each chose our top five favorites in the book, and that was tough to do. There's 160 pages in this book, and Every single page has something cool on it. Mm -hmm. So picking out five each was pretty tough. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're pretty awesome. So um, we, we were up to the task. Blaze picked his five first, and he actually chose one that I was going to choose. So I had to choose something else. I would have um, chosen another one, but I know you have exactly. to have it. Exactly. You knew I was wanting that one, so you let me have that one. But we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to that one. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're going to show you our top ten. But keep in mind that this book is chock full of this kind of stuff. So if you think these ten are cool that we picked out, there's tons more where that came from. You just got to get the book. Let's let's pop right in. Oh, the people behind the book, um, and the people behind the Power and the Honor Foundation. You want to say one? Emiliano. Emiliano Santa Lucia, Josh Van Pelt, James Etock, and then uh, Danielle Gelater. I don't know if I said your name right. I know you're, you're you're Penny Dreadful and you're awesome, but you also have a very hard to pronounce last name. Um, I think. It is it Gelater? No, I'm not sure. What were you going to say? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, it, uh, Penny's got a, a, a special segment all her own as we're talking here about her name and stuff. So we talked about you more than anything. So if you got your name wrong, then at least we talked about you a lot. Um, okay, so let's, let's dive right in. Uh -huh. Who's up first? Yours is first, right? Yeah. Okay, so Blaze has his pick up first in the book. And his pick is this two-page spread that has what, Blaze? Vicor, 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 and Demo Man. Yeah, it's got this great shot of Vicor over here, and then you've got Vicor and Demo Man down here. It's cool. Yeah, very cool. And this is, you know, these were the the birth of He-Man, basically. 
Like, Vicor became He-Man mm -hmm. as the line progressed. And, and he became Skeletor. Exactly, he became Skeletor. Well, actually, Skeletor. in the bottle, they made you, it was like a merge of their faces. Well, no, no, what I'm saying is, in the original line, yeah. the Demo Man character sort of evolved into Skeletor. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, but now the bios are making Demo Man into a character. You're right about that. Okay, my pick is next. One of my picks is next. Uh, and it's these cool Kit Bash prototypes from Roger Sweet that were used to kind of create the line, too. And uh, they're awesome because they, for one thing, they show what the line was going to become. Uh -huh. You know, that it can include space guys and it can include, like, military-esque guys and, and barbarians all in the same thing. Plus it had this, the action feature, the twist waist fe feature. But I really dig it because of all these these Boba Fett 12-inch parts from the vintage Boba Fett figure used to make this kind of Zodak-esque guy. Um, so I think that's really cool. But you okay? You're breathing kind of weird over there. You alright? Yeah, just sore throat. Oh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm up again. Can I say his name? Well, let me flip it over and then you can say his okay. name. Okay. Go ahead. Bug Off. Yeah, this Bug Off character, which we all know eventually became Buzz Off. But I just dig it because it's so cool looking to see this normal, like, He-Man head underneath this bug helmet. I would want this figure. I'm, I'm tempted to get an extra Motu Classics Buzz Off and, like, make this figure. Yeah. You know? That'd be cool, man. Hey, you can, like, I know what you can do. You can take, like, you can get, a, like, a human head or whatever on that. You can, like, you could, you could take, like, part of Demo Man's beard off and, like, put it there. Oh, for the little, like, the... Yeah. Like, I don't know what those are called. These thingies. Tentacles. Yeah. Mouth tentacles. He's almost like a, um... Eater? No, like a, uh... Oh, my gosh, I can't remember. Lovecraft. Like a, a Lovecraft creature, like the, uh, yeah, like one of those things with the big tentacle things out of its mouth. We're jumping all over the place yeah. again. Okay, uh, so that, uh, you're up next, and that is, your two-page spread is? He-Man, Megator, and He-Man, um, Titus. Exactly, yeah, He-Man and Titus oh, no, over here. Sorry, Charles, Charles was like the Demo Man type character with He-Man and They Central might have been able to hear you, because you're, you're behind the book. What are you saying here? You are talking about this? Okay. Where it looks like they've merged the Demo Man drawing into like this Megator, Megator character. Thing. Yeah, that is cool how they repurposed that that same look and style and made the Megator yeah. out of it. That is really cool. All right, who's up next? I need to get another Peternia type dude because I have Wonder and Sna a Snake Man, and now I'm, I'm going to be getting Demo Man. I have to have Vicor. You do need Vicor. You're right. You, you did choose a lot of Peternia type stuff in here, didn't you? Uh huh. Because we haven't got to your last pick yet, and that's also Preternia. Alright, I'm up next, and I chose this character called the Glob, like which was going to be a Horde character. Yeah. No, I didn't skip anything. Okay. Um, was going to be this Horde character um, that would have, like, split open in the belly and, like, consumed a He-Man figure, basically. Yeah. Like, he could have grabbed him with his belly. And I like it because it kind of reminds me of something, like, out of Ghostbusters, yeah. kind of, but it's just really cool. I would have loved that as a kid, seeing that kind of feature, like a gobbling up He-Man type thing. Um, I'm up again. Uh -huh. I chose page. I chose this... Well, it's not the next page. No, it was a couple pages later. I chose this drawing of this battle chariot. And I really liked this because in the original He-Man of the Power Sword mini comic, when the goddess gives him his weaponry, he had this vehicle kind of stashed in the back, and I never knew where that vehicle came from. And now I know that it was a proposed vehicle for the line, and it just didn't happen. Okay. Oh, and Dad? Yeah. We, if you were at PowerCon and you went to a certain panel, you don't know my dad's a big fan of many comics. I'm a big fan of many comics. Because my dad was in the mini comics panel. That's right, I was in the mini comics panel. Alright, so I think I'm up again. Yes. But this is my last one. One I was going to choose, but yeah, I but you knew it. have to have it. Yeah, you knew I'd have to have this one. And that's because it is Trapjaw and riding Land around Shark. a land shark. This is like a, a one of the proposal sketches for the land shark. Um, and I never, ever thought about putting Trapjaw on the land shark. Yeah. And now I feel like a dunce, because I didn't, because he looks awesome in a land shark. It's, like, almost like the vehicle was made for Trapjaw. Yeah. With those spiky teeth and, like, the coloring and the weaponry and stuff. But there's a lot more vehicle pictures in here. You're tired. There's a lot more vehicle pictures in here. We're, and I'm not keeping him up late, either. It's, it's like, 8.30 right now. It is 8.30 right now. Bedtime. Well, 8.39 is your bedtime. You don't have school tomorrow. Yeah. But I'm not keeping him up late to do a video. Yeah. He's just tired. He's had a long day. So, there's a lot more vehicle stuff in here, which is really, really cool. 
Um, oh, we're not going to do that one yet. That's, like, my favorite piece ever. Um, oh, yeah. I had a long day because, well, I went to something. I like to call Moolar's twin, the dentist. Yeah, he went to the dentist today. Uh, it wasn't as bad as Keaton's trip to the dentist, at least. Okay, so you wanted, this is one of yours. Yep. And it's snake set. No, it's not snake. It's like a dragon. Oh, yeah. It's like this dragon play uh, set. And I chose it. I thought it was like an old version of like an old drawing of um, Snake Mountain. But it's not. It's like this cool dragon play set. I like, like all these traps. I know. It's got everything. traps everywhere. It's almost like something out of Scooby-Doo. I know. There's like this. And there's this dragon, though, that like flows throughout the whole play set. Like, here's his tail down here. There's his head. And I mean, it just it shows you like all the thought and ingenuity that went into this yeah. toy line. It's just... Amazing stuff, and this is stuff that didn't make it past the drawing board. Yeah. Um, it's just crazy to to see all the ingenuity and, and thought and just creativity that went into the toy line. One of my favorites. And this is your last, well, your second to last pick. Is this big Preternia battle scene? Blaze totally digs this. It's got you know He-Man and, and Sorcerers looking through the past at Hero battling with all these dinosaurs and giants and all that stuff. It's just a really cool scene, really cool piece of art. It's, uh, I, I, I don't blame you for picking that one. That one's awesome. If and I would have chosen, do you think you would? I might have chosen that one, too. Now, the last page that Blaze picked was what I was also going to pick. Best one yet? And I think it's it's awesome. I mean, this, I would have paid 50 bucks just for this picture, I think. I would have paid 900 bucks just for that playset. Well, oh, yeah, you're, you're telling me. Okay, so it's this two-page spread showing... The Castle Grey Skull prototype. Wow. It is so neat. I go to the elevators. It adds more details. It's so detailed, dude. It's it's got crazy amount of details. It looks, you know, you can tell it's it's not mass produced because it's got just I mean it just looks beautiful. It's got all these this like intricate pieces and things. No, I need to mention something. What's that? Like, there's some differences, the little ledge and Yeah, the, there's there's and different like the little crown. Exactly. Now uh, but what's cool about this though is is if you look at the the four vintage mini comics, the original four, a lot of these things that you see on this prototype are on that Castle Grey Skull in that mini comic. You are tired, dude. We're almost done with this video. And then we'll you can go to bed. Um, like the gun on the tower, the crown on the thing, the little ledge, uh, the, the throne, all these things, that's the way it looks like in the mini comic. So as a kid, I didn't understand why my Castle Grey Skull playset didn't match the mini comic dead on. Okay. That's why. Because the mini comic artwork is based on this prototype. So that's our top ten picks. Wait, but, I need to say something. Yeah. What about the power, the power in the honor dot org? Weren't we supposed to mention that? That's true. You know, it, we'll, we'll, yeah, I was going to get to that, but thank you for reminding me. Um... You should really get this catalog. I mean, it is amazing. Not only are you sending money to a good cause, you know, if you love this toy line, you don't want to see this stuff just get deteriorated and destroyed over time. You want to see it preserved, and you want to be able to look at it. And this is the best way to look at it right here. So you need to go to www.powerandhonor.org and make a donation. $50 gets you the book sent to you. you know, no shipping fees or anything like that. If you're international, it includes international shipping. Um, it makes the perfect Christmas gift. I'll tell you that right now. Not for Blaze, though, because he's fine. He can just look at this copy. Uh, but, you know, hey, guess... Oh, my sister doesn't... I don't know what to get my sister for Christmas. I'll get her the Power and the Honor catalog. Oh, hey! Your sister doesn't even like My local yet. school teacher um, is looking for a Christmas gift. I'll get her the Power and the Honor catalog. My next-door neighbor, who's retired and was a shoe salesman, would love to have the Power and the Honor catalog. Who would not love to have this book? If you get this book and you don't like it, there is something wrong with you. I was just supposed to say, I don't like it, but I was like, oh, you said don't like it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you have to love this book. And you have to get this book. As a He-Man fan, you need to have this book. I mean, it's the price of two Motu Classics figures. That's nothing. I mean, that's... And this will give you hours and hours of enjoyment to look through. I, I can't stop looking through it. Fantastic book. Thank you to the Power and the Honor guys for doing what you're doing. I can't wait to have more catalogs. I want to fill an entire bookshelf with Power and Honor catalogs. Right? Mm-hmm. That's fun for all ages, too. And this concludes the Power and the Honor video. There you go. So we're going to sign off on this one. Um, we're going to let Blaze go to bed because he's tired. And then we'll do, I think, a hero spotlight tomorrow, right? I think we're on hero. So we'll do a hero video tomorrow. Um, but for now, we're going to sign off. So, um... We'll see Good you guys journey. next time. Good journey. Good journey.